already fold in one contract in the design. After the back floor has been installed, uh, what we do is basically pour some water down into the toilet. Right here, you may notice this is a four inch uh, trunk that's sticking up. Uh, from here, they have reduced it from a four to a three. And make sure that you check by pouring water through it. Uh, it should be clean because it's a new toilet area. Uh, before you do it. So right here it's a three inch, even though it starts with a four inch trunk. That means that once you come down, you have diverted. Uh, that being said, you have to test the uh, water here to make sure it flows through clean. Water is flowing clean and there is no water inside of here. A nice good bucket of water, pour it down there. Yeah, I got some all over the place, but oh well. Uh, but there's none in the hole. That's the most important part. Next, we're gonna be putting on the cap. And once the cap is on, make sure the flapper is still inside there. Nothing is holding it. Good. I'm gonna put this cap back on. Usually I do everything with gloves on, guys. So, but uh, when I'm doing gluing, I don't put gloves on. I uh, like to be free of uh, any dirt on my hands when I'm doing it. Now, when you look in the hole, this is what you see. This is the part that we install for the backflow. This will be the trunk that we can put down into the hole, and we're gonna cut it, and that gives us the clean out uh, for here. From this point, because we're gonna cover it with floor, we're gonna take a measurement from the wall to here. Where the, where the uh, trunk is going to stick up and basically a couple of different measurements either from the doorway to there and uh, so let's give you two measurements and then put a ton of drawing for where the location of this is because you'll be putting flooring over it uh, that being said after the water is poured down and you checked everything is good then we're going to put a level across so once i put the stack in on top of the uh, three inch clean out i take my level and put it on the side and i mark a line to where the top of this is And that's basically where I'm going to cut. Once the piece is cut, it's a good uh, couple of inches. I guess I could have taken a measurement of it, but ain't nothing like the actual piece of it. So right now, put it in there. It should be right on top. Nothing should be touching, and that should be great. So now once you put the cap on, put this in. You got a tiny bit of a touch, but... That being said, it's not enough for once I pour the concrete, it's not going to have set the floor at all by any, any chance. Uh, that being said, it looks really good. Nice and level and straight.